cows are really close by now. They're just up there. Not that many though, so it sounds nice. When there's a lot of cows with many bells, it's a, it's a big noise. But this is it's a nice, nice sound. It's also probably mushroom week. It's been cloudy for a couple of days and rainy as well. I think tomorrow there will be quite a few mushrooms. I got these from my friend Martin. He lives uh, not far from here and he's renovating a house too. Beautiful old chestnut boards. I mean quite old. Few of them are perhaps on the edge of being used for... Uh, well I'm using them to make a little door for the utility room, the arch door. And the ones that are rotten too far I'll probably make a uh, flower flower pots of it. Thank you. 
Yeah, so this wall is finished. Some of the holes were um, uh, originally for scaffolding, so they would build up the wall. And when it would be too high to build, they would leave some holes in there so they could put in beams and boards for scaffolding. You see that at different heights. I think I'll keep the ones on top because they're nice and in a regular uh, space. Uh, and close up some of the ones on the bottom to kind of clean it up and make it look nice. The only bell pepper, I just broke it off accidentally. Not sure if it's good. It's, it's too cold here. Next year probably a greenhouse and I can grow bell peppers and tomatoes better. It wasn't working out this year.
You can see how the drainage is working. Working well. A lot of water. Alright, most work on the walls done. Um, the holes are sealed over there, there too. A few more little ones, but I'll do that with the pointing. Pointing the stones, I will do with two guys. Uh, they're coming on Saturday. Because if I do it alone, it will take another two and a half weeks. And uh, winter is coming. So I need to uh, speed things up here and there. Um, little explanation about these ones so these floor beams were originally resting on a cross beam which was here which was very low and in the way and it was also flexing a bit because all the beams are resting on top of that cross beam and um, yeah it wasn't a comfortable floor this is much stronger i've got this idea from jeppo's builder jeppo is the guy who makes my windows I think he's coming next week and his beams were also too short so these T's are going into the wall they're stuck together with stone and cement so they're solid the solid part of the wall really and um, it's just a, it's a simple and clean idea I think uh, the screws are not doing much I mean in these volumes the screws are not even in there um, they're just there to keep things together, but they don't do much work. And um, on top of there is going to be four centimeter chestnut boards, tongue and groove, um, quite thick floorboards because they're going to be the structural part, but also the finished floor. Just want to keep it as simple as possible. I can't make a very thick floor also because I'm just going to make it it lower. So it's just going to be simple boards and um, they're also resting on those latches that they built in the wall originally for the floor so they have bigger stones that come out of the wall and the boards are sitting on top of that um, and on this side they're going to lean on the stove the outer shell of the masonry stove which doesn't get hot um, so it's structurally a very strong floor because I want it to be <coughs> as strong as possible you know no movement no flexing uh, although these beams might flex a little bit wood always does that a little bit but uh, yeah
cows are leaving today. Farmer came by, gave me some cheese as a thank you for using the land. It's very nice. Didn't have to do that. That's a lot. Muka. This cheese from the cows. Capra, Capra Muka, cows and some mix maybe. Gina Pro. Oh, it has a uh, flavor.
yeah, not a bad catch. Not all of them are edible. I have to double check them. This one is. Looks like it's been some wild boar here yesterday night. The place has been torn up quite a bit. Didn't hear them because usually I would hear that when I'm sleeping in the tent, but maybe I'm used to it. Last year in summer I heard them closer to the tent at night because they're very noisy animals. But now I haven't heard them. I can clearly see the signs.